Hello and welcome to the inaugural show of season 2 of the weekly governance voice courtesy of the Institute of Certified Secretaries. To start this conversation off, I have a gentleman, Isaac Doro, who is a certified secretary, yes, and we is going to take us through the conversation on the role and importance of certified secretaries. Yes, you may have heard about them or you hear about them, but what is their significance? Isaac, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayne. Yes, it's good to see you. And before we get into that question that I asked that we're going to address today, I wanted you to tell the viewers, when people meet Isaac Ndoro, who are you when that question is posed to you and what do you do? I'm a certified secretary. Yeah. I've been a member of the Institute of Certified Secretary since the year 2012. So been a member for over a decade, now close to a decade and a half. Yeah. And uh, over and above that, I'm also a governance auditor, accredited by the Institute of Certified Secretary as a governance practitioner. Over and above that, I'm also a practicing company secretary. I practice as an outsourced company secretary because usually we have got uh, corporation secretaries who sit in organizations. But at the same time, mm -hmm. we have the uh, company secretaries who practice and outsource that service to other organizations is an outsourced from. Okay. So currently, I'm an outsourced company secretary. Uh -huh. I run a firm of the corporation secretaries whom we outsource company secretaries to other organizations. Right. Yes. Thank you so much for that. My next question is uh, the question that I started about when I introduced him. So tell us more about who a certified secretary is and what qualifications are needed. With the mere use of the word secretary is confused to mean it's an administrative role. And uh, other times people relate that with typewriters, for uh, example. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. However, a certified secretary is a professional who has gone through rigorous training uh, on areas of corporate governance areas of financial management, legal and compliance, yeah. has gone through training on corporate governance and uh, administration. I've also gone training on tax matters and also human resource related issues. Yeah. So after taking through that rigorous training, then they get examined by CASNIP. After you get examined, then you get registered by an organization called uh, CPSB, that mm -hmm. is Certified Public Secretaries Registration Board. Mm -hmm. After you get registered, then you become a member of the Institute of Certified Secretary, which now is charged with the role of regulating the profession. So clearly, following that, you'll see this is a person who has gone rigorous training, uh -huh. has been examined, has been registered, and is a regulated profession. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you and fair enough. Let's talk about the core skills and competencies that a certified secretary must have. What are they? Yeah. So the core skills that uh, a company secretary is supposed to have, yeah. one of them is that they should have a very good understanding of the law. Mm -hmm. That is a corporation law. Because clearly, like what I've, I've said, one of the key functions of a company secretary is to ensure that the company is compliant with the various laws and regulations of the land. Yeah. Then the other aspect is on risk management because one of the key aspects of decision making is to ensure that there is proper management of risks in an organization. Mm -hmm. Then the, the other core skill that we have mm -hmm. is administration skills. And these administration skills are what help a company secretary to be able to manage various functions within the organization. Communication skills is very critical because mm -hmm. company sector is also charged with communicating with the key stakeholders within the organization, not just shareholders. Yeah. So communication then becomes so critical for yeah. a certified secretary. The other important skill is corporate governance skill. Uh -huh. And corporate governance now is becoming the key function of a certified secretary. In fact, in the near future, the certified sector will now become governance professional in the organization. Okay. And uh, that is what 
helps the company secretary to be able to advise the organization on ensuring that they follow the laid out governance principles when it comes to making the decisions okay so those are the key skills which are required for a certified secretary among so many other skills because like i said yeah. they help a lot with making sure that companies are compliant so there are also other areas of compliance which they do get trained in so you are enlightening organizations they need to, they need to be very careful uh, especially when engaging qualified and certified css yes and there could be a person who runs an organization and probably they have not even probably thought about it. I wanted you to elaborate to us some of the risks or challenges that could be faced by organizations that don't have consultation or in-house qualified secretaries. There has been this assumption that companies are not necessarily required to have a certified secretary. And uh, there are some certain laws also which have not made it mandatory for companies to have a certified secretary and for example is the companies act that has put certain thresholds that companies must must achieve or attain for them to re, to be required to have a company secretary sitting in them however as the institute of certified secretaries we encourage all organizations to have a certified secretary and i'll say the reason why it is very important to have one and what are the challenges that companies would encounter if they don't have a qualified certified secretary like i didn't mention one of the key responsibilities of a certified secretary is, is compliance mm -hmm. and uh, when a company is non compliant with the various laws and here you look at it from the perspective that in an organization entrepreneurs not many of them who've got the understanding of what is required of them in terms of compliance yeah. so you find that from time to time these companies fall into significant liabilities and risks and exposure for non compliance the other risk yeah. that companies do encounter is conflicts with the stakeholders mm -hmm. increasingly we have got stakeholders who are extremely sensitive and one of the reasons which has made these stakeholders to be so sensitive is the ease in which they are able to access information and then they understand their rights increasingly because of the penetration of technology so you need to have a person within the organization who is able to help in communicating to these stakeholders otherwise there will be conflicts from yeah. time to time and these conflicts could even be with shareholders conflicting among, among themselves because the secretary is supposed to continuously communicate with these stakeholders on certain aspects about the organization okay the other risk that companies do encounter is from time to time they they fall into a lot of non compliance issues on matters of risk risk management mm -hmm. and you find that the company secretary becomes so critical in ensuring that that organization is able and alive to these risks and uh, you find that uh, if the company is not alive to these risks mm -hmm. that has an impact mm -hmm. also on the decision making process yeah so you find you have an organization where there is no record of decisions of the board mm -hmm. there is no record of the resolutions that are made by the board yeah there is no record of what actions requires to be taken mm -hmm. and that in itself brings a lot of chaos okay then the other challenge yes. that companies do encounter yeah. is that they're not able to attract investors ah. why because an investor who comes to invest in an organization yeah the most important thing that they look for is is this company compliant mm. because there are a lot of exposures that they are likely to put themselves into if this company is not compliant so if an organization has a certified secretary yes from outside the investors are able to see that organization is an organization that is intending to do the right things mm -hmm. and intending to ensure that they continuously remain compliant with the various laws mm -hmm. that also ensures that increasingly they are able to impact positively on the various stakeholders whom they do have so one of the other challenges is that yes they are not able to attract investors let's think about what you have just mentioned in your conversation mm. strategic planning and you've also mentioned things to do with decision making as well yeah. and i wanted to ask you uh, when it comes to that 
how do CSs, if I may call them that now, yes. <laughs> you know, CSs is a term that we use differently in the country as well. Yes. How do CSs contribute to an organization's strategic planning and decision-making process? A certified secretary is a governance professional. And corporate governance, some of the key principles is openness and transparency. And an organization is attractive when it is well-governed. And that's the reason why you find today, even when companies are publishing their, their, their reports, one of the persons who signs them off yeah. is actually the certified secretary. Yeah. And that basically gives the confidence to the members of the public that indeed that organization is an organization that is committed mm -hmm. to enshrining good corporate governance practices as part of its DNA. So you realize that uh, a company secretary, therefore, plays a very critical role in creating confidence that the public or the investors may require to have yeah. on that institution. Okay. And that cuts across because you find that even in the non-government organizations, they also want to support organizations which are well governed. As we come to a close of the conversation, I'd like you to enlighten us as well on uh, what you see, because we're in a changing world. And someone may come and argue and say, is this really important now? Yeah. Now that we have different ways and the world is evolving. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, from mm. a perspective of an already established CS, yeah. where do you see the future of this profession? The future of this profession, I must say, is great. Mm -hmm. And I think you ask this question at a very important time, whereby, in fact, uh, we are having a lot of conversations around governance, uh -huh. around uh, accountability, around uh, transparency, yes, around ethics. And you realize that uh, a certified secretary is a governance expert yes, and is actually the champion of good governance practice. Yeah. And in fact, that is the aim of the Institute of Certified Secretary, mm -hmm. to champion good governance practices yeah. within our organization, okay. within our country. And that does not limit to commercial entities. It goes and covers even the public interest entities, yeah. including our government, to say the least. Therefore, you find that uh, good governance is actually one of the principles that is enshrined in our constitution. And uh, this certified secretary is a person who has gone through training and has been uh, charged with ensuring that they champion good governance practices within the organizations where they work. Now, looking ahead, one of the key aspects that I see is that we have got uh, our stakeholders whom... Uh, have become extremely sensitive. And I say they're sensitive because it's as they have got access to a lot of information. And this information they access through ways and means that nobody is in control of. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you find that uh, organizations have to be extremely sensitive to what impact they have on the stakeholders sure where they operate. Yeah. And the whole stakeholder approach has really changed to the point that then we have to run our organizations in such a way that uh, we have always in contemplation what impact our actions have on the environment and the societies where we operate. So having said that, then therefore, you find that increasingly it is becoming so important that we have our organizations properly governed. Mm -hmm. And hence, you see that the certified secretary come in handy to ensure that we entrench good governance practices yeah. as part of the culture. Okay. And this is not just the culture of the organization, but basically as a culture of the whole society at large. Okay. And therefore, certified secretary is one of the professions that I clearly see that has got a very big future. Okay. And in fact, I do encourage a lot of our young people to register with the Institute of Certified Secretaries for okay. those who haven't registered and have done the CS course, yeah. the Certified Secretary course. Yeah. We also encourage the young people who are in colleges to take interest in taking certified secretary as one of the course and uh, register with CASLEM mm -hmm. to take the course because there's a very big future and there are so many opportunities. You definitely have CSs mm -hmm. 
that are also working in government. And yes. um, I have attended a function or two where I've had us um, celebrate a few. Hmm. Kenya right now, as you see, we're still on the global radar uh, when it comes to matters corruption. Yes. And as you said, CSS are supposed to be champions of good governance. Yes. And I know you will agree with me that good governance doesn't have corruption in it. Yes. What would you say is the antidote? Because um, is it that the organizations that are corrupt don't have that? Or is it that some CS is sometimes, you know, forget the calling? And do you have a disciplined measure on such people? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's actually a principle that we have yes. within uh, our profession, mm. whereby from the point whereby we train our members, uh, one of the key areas we train them is on the importance of ethics mm -hmm. and integrity. Yeah. And over and above that, we go ahead and regulate our members yeah. in that should they be, you know, found to be in breach of, of these conditions and these codes, mm -hmm. then they go through disciplinary process. Mm -hmm. But that is not what really is our principle. Our principle is to impact good culture mm -hmm. in our members. Yeah. Because you realize that even what we are facing in our country is purely not shortage of laws. In fact, we have got very good laws. Mm -hmm. It's purely a bad culture. Yeah. And that's why we champion good corporate governance practices. Mm -hmm. And from the onset, we train our members on, and we continuously remind them. Yeah. One of the things which we do is capacity building. Yeah. I didn't mention that we also have a mentorship program uh -huh. whereby as an institute, we mentor our young professionals yes. on good governance practices, mm -hmm. matters integrity, yes. and what it is is expected of them uh -huh. when they go to the job market. Okay. And that program is actually one of the most successful programs. We have ran it now for the third year. Mm -hmm. And every year we usually have a cohort of yeah. over 100 young members. Okay. And then we partner them with certified secretaries who are credible. Yes. And secretaries who have known for yeah. championing good governance practices. Mm -hmm. And one of the key things that these members do or the mentors do yeah is to make sure that they impart these good practices to our members. Yes, Isaac Ndore, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me, Mr. Maina. Excellent. Thank Excellent. You. So there you have it, the inaugural show on the weekly governance voice courtesy of the Institute of Certified Secretaries. I hope you have taken a nugget or two from it. As I said again, we are not just here to speak about what could be done, but really get practical. Personally, I'm taking up a challenge. I need to be certified to become a good certified champion of good governance. Where can we go if we had good governance in our own country, in our own homes, in our own organizations? I want to leave you there for now, but ask you to remember to give us feedback, especially on the social media handles being provided. See you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.